All right, folks, welcome back to the Marshall Football Rebuild Dynasty. Today we're taking on Arkansas State, the Red Wolves of Arkansas. Very quickly, I do want to look at the award watch list. We do have some guys on these lists. Best defensive player, Raphael Gales, our junior right end, is at number one. Devontae Barnett is at number three. Our young freshman from Huntington, Chris Holmes, is number two in the Best Defensive Back Award. A.J. Turner is number eight for the Best Running Back. For the Lombardi, Gales and Barnett are both in the running. Best defensive end, Raphael Gales, obviously. And for the best special teams returner, Tyshawn Chapman has two touchdowns in the punt return game, so good to see from all our players. Now just a very quick look at their roster. Jalen Rayner is a great quarterback. He has a ton of physical abilities, which is putting the fear of God into me. Third and four, Let's see what we got here. They got a guy wide open. I'm gonna try to help in coverage. Another guy wide open. That's going to be... I forget his name. I don't understand what that was, but it ended up poorly for them, and their quarterback is pissed, Mr. Rayner, saying, get your asses over here. To make that tackle, and of course we don't. This guy is apparently the next coming of Derrick Henry. This guy is Derrick Henry, but in quarterback form. I'm already triggered, so it's going to be a long day, I feel, because that was just unacceptable to me. Um, and then, wow, what a speed boost. It's almost like he got some kind of uh, unfair treatment there. It seemed a little sketchy to me. That speed boost was insane. That dude looked like Sonic out there. That dude looked like the Flash, you know, when he hits his final form. I hit that guy. Still can't make a tackle. It's going to be a long day. Just by this first drive, I can tell EA has decided my life is not worth it and that they're going to make my life a living hell today. I can just sense it. I got something in my blood, something in my my core of my humanity that tells me we're going to get eight up. Can't tackle as a defensive tackle. You got to be embarrassed, son. That's not a good thing to see. Maybe we just send a blitz. Let's send everybody and their mama. Our safety's back about 100 yards. There's no way he's going to get there in time. But, yeah, that guy's wide open. Who do we have out in coverage here? You're a number one corner on the team, buddy. Please, like, I really don't want to send you off to therapy. They're running a, uh, what do you call this? this is, it's been so long since I've seen this play that, like, it's, it's scaring me. He, it, it's all clogged up. Good job of Jacoby Henderson, I think, to throw that one down, or that might have been Smith. Whoa! That dude just dove in like he was Superman. None of our players reacted to it. Whew. Ew, nice blocking. And I got no time. I'm just getting a corner blitz sent on me, so we're going to have to punt the ball. It just looks like this team is completely out of sorts. Completely has no idea what's going on. It don't look like it's going to... It's going to be a... I want to say it's going to be a long day, but I feel it could be a short day. I feel like this is one of these games I'm just going to simulate out of because I can tell. You can just get that feeling, if anyone else can relate to that, where EA is just on it. And, like, even though this team's a little bit of a lower overall compared to us, ooh, that wasn't just embarrassing on my part, but it just feels like one of those games where they just decide you're getting your ass kicked and you just got to accept it. Doesn't have to be sexy, but I gotta make sure I get to Alright, zone coverage is not helping us at all, and he's gonna break all those tackles. Okay. That's mine. I don't care. Get out of my way, Leon Hart. Please, let's make some moves here. Uh, user lurk. Uh, okay. Gonna be Toby Payne. He's got a ton of room, too. And, all right, we're starting to do something here on this second drive. It's nice to see. A.J. Turner has a lane run that man over. Doesn't manage to do it, but he's running pretty solid. Another huge gash for Turner to get through. It's going to be McCormick. Just keep running, young man. Going to be Chuck Montgomery. Or just nickel and diamond them down the field. It's been a pleasure to watch. Real quick, Montgomery. He's going to step in with the block from the ever-loving Toby Payne. He will do everything he can for his teammates to get in the end zone. And Chuck Montgomery 
on the GL on Earth. It's almost automatic down on the goal line. Oh my, Johnson gets an interception. Take this one to the hizzy, son. This quarterback is fast, so he's going to have to make a move. Inside the five, still running. Got us into a first and goal. Holy moly. And it's going to be Nolan McCormick. We audibled his route. He was supposed to just block and kind of flare out, but we gave it to him again. And he continues his campaign of greatness. The milkman is here to stay. And I'm here with uh, Mr. Heflin, and my teammates are there. We're going to get him to a third and four, see what we can accomplish here. They're going to throw a quick dump off, and they don't get it. It's going to be fourth and two. They're in a position they could probably go for it, but they decide to punt. Uh, interesting call. Receiver shows motion. To throw, it sucks. Oh my God, that did not just happen. EA did not just screw me like that with it hitting my teammate's helmet. Okay, so it just hit the guy's helmet and we're screwed. And uh, basically, they're telling me to shove it up my ass and uh, that they are the supreme beings of the universe. Uh, unfortunate but EA will EA. And he runs into a brick wall. I was just fighting with Heflin on the block. I didn't have much I could have done there, but we get a nice, I don't know if that was a TFL or just a tackle, but whatever it was, it was good. Let's hope we can get another stop here. I'm out on the running back. I'm trying to do my best in coverage and he gets it. Chris Holmes, buddy, you are in an award for best corner and you got annihilated. Here we are, third and four, the down we always find ourselves on but can never recover from. And that's going to be an interception. Just go down, Mr. Knight. And three interceptions to start the day. Rayshon Knight, what a play. Read option, McCormick, first down, fighting. Oh my goodness, and we fumble it. So not only does our right guard get absolutely manhandled, and just bullied but then we fumble it to top it off I uh, just I'm, I'm having a rough day like we've got three interceptions on this guy and it still feels like they're the better team it still feels like they're gonna come back like it don't feel good there's no way but then again with my stupidity you know I'm not always the best player that's got to be another interception but they knock it down third and six I'm trying to get out there it don't matter because Devonte Barnett lights him up Big stop by the defense after that, and uh, we're going to hold him to a field goal potentially here, and he does nail it. Okay, this guy's got some talent. And McCormick just finds a lane. He's got a speed boost almost up to the 50. That was a broken play, but we'll take whatever just happened. I don't know what that was, but Braylon Brown for some reason was inside of my offensive line. I'm going for it here. I'm kind of mad, if I'm going to be honest. I'm kind of uh, upset. And they're doing a really good job of containing our quarterback. So we'll see what we can do here. And we're going to get it off to Toby Payne. And he, unfortunately, is stumbling, fumbling, just tripped on a Lego or something. And we do not get it. That's unfortunate. We're just not going to win this game. I can tell you that much right now. Stuff like that, EA is just on one. We had a clear lane of a first down, and it just things happen like that. It's unfortunate that EA decided they are going to just make my life a living hell. But maybe the team will come up and do something good and like just, just win the game and just say, you know what, EA, we're tired of being computer-generated clones, and we're going to come out here and we're going to try... What the hell was that? I was out there, but he still gets it. You could hear me mashing my controller. I, we, we, I'm just going to go with Coach suggestions. I've been just sitting in a dime all day. Don't know if it's been working, but we're just going to let Coach kind of make decisions and kind of guide us in our, you know, livelihoods. Going to be a screen. Going to be just, come on, bro. Um, what the hell just happened? So Jacoby Henderson just stole it out of his hands interesting i'm just i don't know what this play was just an improv i, I have no clue what's happening god 
Damn, this game is frustrating, man. Toby Payne, thank you for getting the job done there on fourth down. I'm not playing games. I'm not playing reindeer games. I'm not playing field position battles. Get the hell out of here. Going to be McCormick. Nice block, but McCormick, it don't matter. He's going to just get us that first down anyway. Going to be Tyshawn Chapman, get us that first down. Nope. Okay, now. Okay. This is what we're on today. Who was that? that now it's Henderson getting burned. Oh, oh, whatever. Whatever, man. That interception was such bullshit that they just got, man. I'm sorry. I'm just really triggered today. I don't know what it is. I'm probably too mad, actually, to be playing this game. Because, you know, when you play with anger, you just, just start freaking throwing stuff to the wind. And look at those buildings in the background. Those are not in Huntington, so I don't know what EA is doing. I'm just pissed at them. Oh, there was a lane there, but I'm too stupid to hit it. Really quick to Toby Payne. Great run there. Nice help from the O-line. McCormick will get us that first down. Wow, what a block there by my right guard. <laughs> um, don't ask me what I was trying to hit triangle, but like, I just kept running like a lunatic. So I don't know what just happened there. Yeah, that one was just destined to get picked off. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, wow, look at that lane just open up. That is insanity. And he just breaks the tackle. What are we doing out here, fellas? Yeah, I just definitely should not be playing this game when I'm in a bad mood. It's just just destined for badness. What, what kind of... What are we doing? Is this a blitz? I don't... Hell if I know. Let's just get dotted up and let it be over with. And I'll try to... What the hell? Oh, we had like nobody in coverage. That'll happen to you. And all of a sudden, Johnson, like, I just, it's probably entertaining because I get the rage and, like, see it. But, like, I just don't know what he was doing out there. It's like he was escorting him to, like, safety. It was like the president, you know, when they have their secret service and all that, they just, they just get escorted into the end zone. That's what our corner was doing out there. And uh, I'll be honest, I just don't want to play this game today. I kind of just forced myself to play it. Like, not really forced, but, like, I don't know. I'm in a bad mood. And all of a sudden, Arkansas State, like, they're really not that good of an overall, but they're apparently gods to humanity, and all that is wise. And, uh, oh, we got a guy open, but I just run straight into a lineman. Didn't see it in time. That's the story of my life. Suggs cannot get the first down. Holy crap, that worked. I should have just hit Braylon Brown there because he was wide open, but that's one of those where I just, I'm, I'm ignorant. Oh, we might have something going on here. Oh, no. Never mind. We had nothing going on there. I'm just going to throw it up for Braylon. And it's an overthrow from Ernest Suggs. Who would have guessed it? I might, I might, I might just run around like a lunatic. Because that's what I like doing. Going back to the well, oh! And they can't I just, uh, I'm, I'm not having fun playing this game today. So we're just going to sim out, take our ass whooping, and that'll be that. Oh, and the team comes back a little bit. Interesting. I just want to get out of this season. Like, I can't. The problem is with it, I'm bad at the game. And the secondary problem is my team is not stacked by any means we're a, we're like just okay for the Sun Belt. like we're not in contention to win it really at this point Arkansas State isn't either with their overall but with EA cheating and helping them it's not going to be fun stats on the day Ernest Suggs was 23 of 41 166 two touchdowns two interceptions a trademark performance by me as the user just complete garbage I uh hate myself and uh 
That was bad. Uh, that, that was not a good time. 61 yards on the ground. Turner had 51. McCormick had a good average. 8 for 53 and a touchdown. So good from him. Toby Payne led us with 8 catches, 61 yards. Charles Montgomery and McCormick are our two touchdown getters. Everyone else chipped in. Matias Barron leads us with pancakes. Our right guard, Bruce Finch, was having the day of days. Our O-line's just, just too mid to really get anything done. He was having a bad day in pass protection and run blocking. Mr. Finch, it's time for you to uh, probably get to your dorm and just, you know, pound some beers or something. Because that, that was not going to get it done ever. Tackle leader is going to be our safeties and Chris Holmes. Holmes did not have a great day. Uh, he's still young, but TFL-wise, Devontae Barnett and Smith got two. Heflin, Leon, and Isaiah got one. Interception-wise, it was a great day. We had four interceptions. Leon Hart, Rayshon Knight... Isaiah Johnson and Jacoby Henderson all got one, which when you get a four interception day on defense, you really should win the game. But like I said, I played like basically the way I just played was like if you hand like an 85 year old person who's never touched a controller a video game, that's basically how I played today on offense. So Barnett, Kershaw, and Smith each get one. I am going to go ahead and go into the tactician tree a little bit since recruiting wise, we're pretty much where we need to be. And we're going to sign three-star, I believe he was an athlete, Eric Moffat from Pennsylvania. We're also going to sign middle linebacker Ezekiel Office. This man should be taking office right now. Bluefield, West Virginia. But anyway, that is going to do it for our season. An ugly end to the season, but finishing 8-4 and four with the roster we have, I think, is actually okay. But thank you, everyone, for watching. I know I was pretty much just throwing my controller against the wall and raging, but sometimes you need those therapeutic moments. But everybody have a good day or night, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, God. Why? All right, well, I guess I'll get us started. This is my post-game press conference. Obviously, I'm mandated to be here, so that's what it is. I think defensively, we need to give a shout-out to... Just the entire defense and Coach Lewis, Coach Watkins, and crew because four turnovers on the day, fantastic work. That's how you win ball games. Offensively, it was what I would just call a shit show. Me and Coach Jake Marshall are going to get some things figured out and we take responsibility for it. A big part of Ernest Suggs' game is being able to escape the pocket. They really did a great job containing him in the pocket not letting him get out and then on our interior on our offensive line just wasn't up to par a lot of guys getting beat getting pushed around and when Ernest Suggs doesn't have time it's gonna be a long day not trying to you know throw our offensive line under the bus but it wasn't a great day for them we're looking to retool for next year offensively I think we got some good players coming in some guys that have redshirted from this past year we're going to try to change our scheme up, change everything, because when Ernest Suggs is not having a good day, we fall apart. Our run game was non-existent. I'll take any questions if we got any. So, Coach, there was a lot of aggressive calls today on fourth down. A lot of them did work out, but uh, how do you feel the offense is going to be moving forward this year and next season? Yeah, this season, next season, um, we got one game left, obviously. We were going bowling, so the aggressive calls, uh, I don't know. I was just feeling frisky, but offensively, we need to like completely retool. It might take a year or two to really get where we need to be from a recruit standpoint and, and finding the right guys in the portal and in recruiting to like be able to kind of make this offense to the point where they're just gliding because we have a lot of stop and starts we have a lot of great games from the offense and we have a lot of games like this where it's not going to get the job done this is not Charles Huff with his 130 passing yards a game my predecessor Charlie Huff we're not going to be out here running an air raid going for 130 yards a game throwing the ball 10 times and running 70 times like so we're really going to have to get deep into the weeds me and coach marshall and just retool and redo everything we're, we're done with what we're doing it's, it's obviously causing a lot of issues so that's all i got for you guys i'll see you guys in bowl preparation week and that's all i got <laughs>